Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. Hey guys, I just got a request here to do a tutorial on how we can run Firefox 2 and the new Firefox 3 on the same computer at the same time. Alright, so the first way we could do this is really just to get the portable version of Firefox 3. Found at portableapps.com slash apps slash internet slash Firefox underscore portable. The link will be in the description. You can simply download this and install it. It'll install into one folder wherever you choose and you can execute it that way, but I don't really recommend that way. So for the second way, the proper way will be installing the actual official release from Mozilla of uh, Firefox 3, the beta release. So first thing you're going to need to do is download the uh, nightly testers installation of Firefox 3 provided in the link. Make sure you get the Windows 32.zip if you're using Windows, which this tutorial is aimed at. After you download, extract and you'll get a Firefox folder. You can place this wherever you want. I'm just going to have it on my desktop, but you can put it in your uh, program files or wherever you want. So this contains the installation, the entire installation for Firefox 3. So the next thing we need to do is create a new profile. So you want Firefox.exe dash profile manager space dash no dash remote go we'll start run paste it in there click OK so this is the profile I created I'm going to delete it and I'll show you how to create one simply click create next you can call it whatever you want I'll call it Firefox 3 and you're done you have your profile you can exit this now So next, open up a new text file. You can call this Firefox3.txt and paste this into it. I'll have it in the description. It's cd space c colon slash documents and settings slash administrator slash desktop slash Firefox. That's the uh, path to this folder here. If you've placed it in your program files, it'll be c colon slash program files slash Firefox and uh, you'll also need to have firefox.exe space dash p space firefox3 space dash no dash remote this will all be in the uh, video description here if you want to copy this now we're going to save this as all files dot bat make sure it's in a ansi format which it should be and save. So simply by clicking this file here, we can open up Firefox 3. Here I have Firefox version 2 open. And here I have Minefield open for the first time. So it'll say it's not set as my default browser, which I don't want it yet. Maybe I'll do this once it's a stable release, so I'm always going to I'm not always going to perform this action, and I don't want it my default browser yet. So it's going to be called Minefield, since that's its uh, proper release name. And here they both are, able to browse around the internet. Now that is the start page. <laughs> That's pretty much it there. You can give it its own custom icon or whatever you want. If you're not sure why you would want to use Firefox 3 over Firefox 2, uh, a few of the features, new features, are listed by Jimmy Arcom. He made a great little video about this, so I'll have a link to that in the description as well. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please comment and rate it. And if you want to see more tutorials in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.
Links and additional information will be located in the video description.